can live on Mars as long as we need. This is the bedroom. We need the bedroom because we need to have a place to sleep. We need sleep to have energy for the next day ahead of us. First, let's show you what is going on outside. Here are multiple return rockets ready to go. Over there, we have supply rockets that bring supplies to not produce on Mars regularly. For reliable power, we use a small nuclear reactor to run our air and water as essential systems. Water is a valuable resource in space and very expensive to ship from Earth. So there is a large water filtration and recycling plant. Robot. Here we're going to be going in the main entrance of our dome for the Mars colony, so you just walk on in there, stand in the drainage unit, and flip the lever four times slowly to be sanitized. So you just stand in there and hit the lever. One, two, three, four. Boom. Now you've been sanitized and you can just go on in to the rest of the colony. Here is our water treatment facility. This building is designed for storing and purifying water. In the building, we have tanks with ice to convert it into a drinkable state. We also put in an opening in the floor for our ice drill to receive ice for purification. There's a water tower with our water inside of it, made for easy access. There's a garage to keep our Land Rovers. The Land Rovers would help with crossing distances and collecting samples to take back to Earth for scientific research. The entirety of our base is built on the northern ice cap of the planet for better weather and for we have windmills for power. We have a large satellite for reaching Earth. We have solar panels for power. Hey judges, you must be the new recruit. Come on in. This is Dome Vector 1. It's where we keep the trees that need the space. We keep our rovers here as well. You can see the solar panels on their backs. Sadly, we can't use this method to charge the colony, as the dust makes solar power unreliable. Here, hop in the elevator. I'm gonna pass you to private rigs. I'm Robert. I'm in charge of the first floor. This is where you'll sleep and eat. In here is the med bay. It's under quarantine. The only time you'll go in there is when you're not feeling well. Right here is the bedding area. Your bed is C5. Now if you go back to the elevator, I'll hand you to Brady. Hi, I'm Farmer Cunniff. I'm in charge of the agriculture floor. Over there, we have our crops. We use a hydroponic system that allows the crop to grow in this environment. On the other end, we have my stable boy, Gavin. Say hi, Gavin. Howdy, rookie. I tend to the livestock down here. It takes some hard work and strong will to get them in their testers for their evaluations. The cleaning, the feeding, and the slaughtering. We have to put them in these chambers to ensure they are healthy and don't have any diseases that could harm us or the other livestock. Alrighty, think that's it, partner. Off the elevator with you to call in on the next floor down. What's up? I'm Sawyer. I'm in charge of oxygen, waste disposal, and storage management. In there is the combustion chamber. Here, we use the methane produced by our waste to create small explosions that charge a backup battery system. We also have plants in the next room for oxygen and some simple storage in the room behind you. I believe that's all here. Head over to the elevator again and we can continue the tour. Hiya, I'm Spencer, the housekeeper. This entire floor is the common area. Here you will work out, watch Mars TV, and lounge around. You can also work out on the treadmills as the weaker gravity affects our muscles and bones. Sadly, that's as much as that goes on down here so I get pretty bored. Next up is Sagan on the energy floor. Bye. How's it going, rookie? I'm Private Tate in energy. Down here we say we have steam being shot up by the molten mantle of Mars. It gets caught in the, some turbines inside these metal walls, making them spin. This power is a generator that makes this entire colony run. In short, I have the most important 
and dangerous job here. I monitor the flow of the steam to make sure it won't explode upwards and blow this floor to bits. Head back up to the overseer and he'll assign, he'll assign you your job. Hi rookie, time for a job. Your job is very important. You must inspect the dome and rate our building and logic skills in this colony. If you have any questions, I very likely have answers. Now off to work, STLP judges. Our Martian settlement can house 48 settlers. The map we chose for our STLP project is a one-to-one -one scale map of the Northern Plains crater of Mars we downloaded from geoboxers.com. Thank you STLP judges for taking time to review our Martian settlement.